When I tell you the last 10 days have been 10 of the longest days of my life, I am not exaggerating. Hey everyone, Nicole Steckline, technical agronomist for DeKalb and Asgro in Northeast Iowa. Come with me while we go check on some April 12th planted corn. So if you guys remember two weeks ago, right after Easter, we had 80 degree temperatures, an entire week of 80s coming up. The ground was fit, the ground was warm, and we had a great forecast. The next 10 days was gonna be warm. We knew it was gonna cool down that weekend, um, but then the next 10 days and then the entire 30 day forecast actually looked pretty good. So some of us thought it was a good idea to go ahead and put some corn in the ground. Now hindsight's always 2020, so I'm still not sure if that was the smartest thing to do or the dumbest thing to do. Only time will tell because the forecast really turned around on us and went the opposite way after it cooled off it actually never really warmed up and we had a lot of nights um, get below 30 degrees um, and the soil temperatures honestly have been sitting around that mid to lower 40s almost the entire time we've seen it come up at that two inches up to you know lower 50s but it hasn't really ever warmed up to the place it was at before so I wanted to come out, dig up some seeds, and uh, check on our progress, make sure that stuff isn't dying yet. <laughs> I swear, I'm probably the best agronomist at not finding seed that first time around. <laughs> so this could take some time. For being in the ground almost two weeks, there's not a whole lot has happened. So I've got my radical, I've got a coleoptile starting to shoot out of there. And pretty soon, even on this little guy right here, I can start seeing those first seminal roots starting to shoot out. The good thing is that they still look alive. They still look healthy. The other thing that um, I like seeing right here is that there's not a whole lot of variability in staging. They're all pretty close to being at the same spot when it comes to development. Now, when you've got a situation like this where the seed's been sitting in the ground for a really long time before it comes out of the ground, really some of our biggest risks is that we're gonna have a really variable stand, which means that some plants are gonna have to try and compensate for other plants, but they can't compensate enough for the loss of yield potential of the one next to it. So variability of stand is going to be a big deal, even if we do get a good enough stand to keep. Another thing that we're at a pretty high risk at is crown rot. So one of the biggest indicators of if we're gonna have crown rot issues is the weather after planting. So if it's cool, if it's wet, you're gonna get that early infection. And then if it also matches up with stress during grain fill, that's when that infection really kind of starts to penetrate into the cells of the plant and cause cell death and then leading to that actual disease. Genetics do play a role in that crown health thing, but honestly, one of the bigger indicators is what I just mentioned. So when it comes to the crown health and overall plant health, when we get this stand out of the ground, you know, this early planted corn is probably gonna be some of my first candidate when I start thinking about, are there fields that I'm going to do a V5 pass of fungicide on? Um, because then I can keep that plant healthier, try and uh, diminish stress to keep any of that fusarium infection from flourishing into disease. And you know, we had warm soils, we had fit soils, we had a really nice uh, forecast. Was it the right decision? I don't know yet, but honestly, given the same scenario, I'd probably do it again, because if you have warm, fit soils and a good forecast, if you can't plant then, when can you plant? So hindsight's always 2020. We might have to replant. We might not have to. Uh, there's a lot of questions right now. Today I've gotten a lot of questions about, should I plant this week? It's not gonna be a great forecast. The ground, we're still trying to warm it up. If I go out and plant this week, it's probably going to be soybeans first. When we planted two weeks ago, the ground was warm. Right now we're looking at a two inch soil temp of around 42 degrees. So soybeans are gonna be able to handle that a little bit better than the corn. They're a little bit more forgiving on stand loss. So earlier this week, I'm gonna go beans before corn, let that soil warm up, and then I'll go with corn. If you guys have any questions, don't be afraid to call, text, or email.